This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 14th of August. I'm James Spann. Thanks to Brian Peters for filling in this morning. Had some uh, social media duties uh, during the uh, crash out at the Birmingham airport, but uh, we're back in the saddle today. And it's a tricky forecast, a lot of uh, possible pitfalls here. Let's go right to some of the SkyCam shots around the network today. We'll start with the uh, SkyCam in Haleyville. As expected there, it's been a beautiful day. Sunny, less humid. Dew points are down in the low 60s. Temperatures in the low 80s. Gorgeous. Parish in Walker County looks good. Mostly sunny. The dew points are lower. The humidity is lower. But you know what? The dry air never made it to Gadsden. This is our Gadsden Sky Cam. They've been socked in with clouds most of the day. And pretty much the same deal for Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. The forecast for drier air was a bust for those three cities along Interstate 20 as the dry air just stopped north of here, just north of here. And it is very hard to get dry air this far south and should have known better. Uh, there's the uh, water vapor satellite view. Got a big trough over the east that's pushing that nice cool air southward. And you can see uh, Arkansas, Mississippi, northwest Alabama in the dry air. In fact, there's the uh, visible satellite shot. That's a gorgeous shot. Uh, you draw a line from about uh, Northport to Gardendale to Collinsville. North of that line, it's sunny and gorgeous. Uh, just a few fluffy cumulus clouds. You go back to Memphis, not a cloud in the sky. South of the boundary, it's pouring rain. Had some flash flood warnings today for Hale and Dallas counties. In fact, some big flooding in Selma. They picked up about three inches of rain. And yeah, man, come on, temperatures. That doesn't look like an August day in Alabama. Only upper 70s in most spots. Birmingham at 78, Tuscaloosa 80. Uh, looks like a lot of locations will not see 80 today. That's remarkable. The warm spot up in the Shoals, they've got 83 because the sun is out, but uh, again, their dew points are very low. This is the radar at 2.30, and you can see the rain is basically south of a line from Greensboro to Calera to Ashland and Wadawi. A little patchy light rain around Anniston, but the really big rains are uh, from Selma over to Montgomery, uh, Auburn, Opelika, Lake Martin. It's pouring rain uh, down in that region. That's in advance of the surface boundary. Uh, watch warning, Matt, pretty quiet. Uh, again, uh, Dallas and Hale counties under flash flood warnings in Alabama at the time I'm doing this update. Uh, severe weather possibilities, a slight risk over parts of Texas uh, for the rest of today and tonight. And tomorrow, a slight risk from uh, near Childress and Lubbock, Texas, up through parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. And, you know, this is not exactly what we need more rain. Uh, and, and this could change. The, the tropical system, it is a tough call. If it winds up being a Gulf system, uh, the axis of the heavier rain will probably look like this. Pensacola, Destin, Panama City, Apalachicola, up into southern Georgia, places like Valdosta and Bainbridge, and then ultimately into South Carolina. But that remains to be seen. So let's do tropical weather. Uh, we've got two waves now, both with a high percentage of becoming a tropical depression within the next 48 hours. Uh, we'll start with the one way out there. This is the wave out in the uh, East Atlantic, and uh, this is going to be fighting some dry air. It's uh, just below the Cape Verde Islands. Here's modeling on this. Uh, this is uh, Invest 93, and uh, it's, again, we, we systems out there where this one, it's originating, it could recurve or it could keep on coming. It, it could go either way. Uh, it's in a latitude where either one could happen. But most models want to keep it towards the west-northwest, and most of the intensity models ramp it up to a tropical storm. Um, and we'll see which one of these gets the name Aaron first. Will it be this one or will it be this one? And this is the one that, of course, grabs our attention. This is a uh, uh, system in the Caribbean. Uh, big flare of convection today. It almost looks like a tropical depression now. Starting to see some decent uh, banding features with that. Uh, here's the guidance. And uh, uh, these are the 12Z panels. And uh, pretty decent agreement. you got most of them that want to bring that thing right up the chute toward uh, New Orleans or Biloxi or Mobile. And if by chance those solutions are correct, we might see a big wet down. But it's a big if. I stress this is not carved in stone. Some models don't do that, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, here's the GS, uh, GFS Ensemble guidance. Pretty good agreement. They bring it up toward New Orleans, and again, if the uh, axis of this thing stays a little west of here, we'd be on the wet side. Intensity guidance on uh, Invest 92. Um, most models bring it up to a tropical storm. One, uh, the ship's intensity model brings it up to a Category 1 hurricane. Uh, I'm not so sure this reaches hurricane strength uh, in whatever storm, depression, I think rain flooding is going to be the biggest issue. Um, let's go through here and take a look at modeling. Uh, this is the uh, uh, GFS. 
The global forecast system valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. This is at 500 millibars. Got a pretty big trough axis west of the state. And again, uh, you know, where the air has been drier today, the moisture should come back. So there's some chance of showers and storms. But I don't think it rains all day. It'll rain at times, showers basically. Highs only low to mid-80s, 82 to 85, way below average. Uh, this is the high-res NAM. It's suggesting the big rains east of here over Georgia and the Carolinas, and that could be right, but this model has not done well, trust me, in recent days. All right, this is Friday at 1 o'clock, Friday afternoon, and really both models look relatively dry. Sure, there's a chance of showers. We're going to mention showers. You know, Hey, we, we got burned today by the idea of dry air coming as far south as Birmingham. Uh, but the shower should be relatively scattered. This is the uh, GFS. It really looks fairly dry, but again, for Friday, we'll just mention a chance of scattered showers. Highs mid-80s, around 85. All right, now let's go to Saturday as we start the weekend. This is the GFS. This is Saturday at 1 o'clock. It has a broad tropical low coming up toward Apalachicola. If this solution is correct, the bigger rains would be east of here. Uh, cities like uh, Panama City, Tallahassee, Macon, Georgia, Augusta, Georgia, Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, while certainly we'll have a chance of showers here Saturday, the really big, big tropical rains should be east of here. But remember, this is just one model. You want to see something crazy, look at the NAM. You talk about a contrast. The, look down there in the southern part. That's Aaron, if it gets the name Aaron. So instead of bringing the thing up toward Apalachicola, like the GFS, the NAM drifts it toward Mexico. And it could do that. That's a very real possibility. In fact, a lot of the analogs do that for systems in the same place this time of the year. Um, let's check the uh, Hurricane uh, uh, WRF, and it brings it up toward New Orleans. Uh, it's a tropical storm. Uh, this is valid actually late Saturday night after midnight. So uh, th this you know wharf model tends to side kind of with the GFS, except it's farther west. And just for fun, how about the Canadian? It takes it to Mexico, but you know what? This is valid Tuesday of next week. It, it doesn't make landfall until Tuesday of next week. Uh, is maybe a you know category one hurricane. So you, you, the models are clearly split. You got some models that take it over toward Mexico in the southern tip of Texas in a very slow motion. Others bring it up this way. Some east of here. Some west of here. So it is just too early. Everybody's asking questions about specific points and weather. We're just going to mention a chance of showers every day for the next four days, and we'll have to fine-tune this forecast once there's clarity on our tropical system. All right, back to Sunday. This is the uh, GFS Sunday at 1 o'clock. Pretty good trough swinging through. The GFS has the tropical wave moving across the Carolinas, and it's interesting. It seems like a little bit hangs back down around Mobile Bay, still very moist. But for this part of Alabama, it just doesn't look all that wet. Sure, there's a chance of showers on Sunday, but not an all-day downpour or deluge. Uh, Monday of next week, same deal. This is Tuesday. We're kind of moist, a chance of showers. And a week from today, same thing. Uh, mix of sun and clouds, scattered showers. Temperatures probably easing up a little bit. At least we should be in the upper 80s for the first half of next week. Uh, we'll check the end of the forecast, August 30th. Wow, almost getting into September. This is like the end of meteorological summer, the end. Wow. Looks like a little upper feature over Texas. The uh, primary westerlies up north and down below that, same deal. Some sun, few scattered showers, nothing out of the ordinary. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News. We'll have more on the uh, crash out at the Birmingham Airport today, uh, 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.